We're going to now go back to um, Ethiopia following the burial of uh, Prime Minister Meles Zenawi and the future of Ethiopia. Our correspondent Gabe Josolo joins us via Skype from Addis Ababa. Hi, Gabe. Hello, Demiaki. So paint a picture for us about the funeral. It was obviously very elaborate, very, very heavily attended from what we saw in the videos. Yeah, the funeral was uh, was really a grand uh, state funeral, uh, you know, for a leader who ruled that country as kind of an icon for 20 years. Uh, and even outside of the the main events, when you walk through the streets of Addis Ababa, there were posters of uh, Mellis uh, all over the city. Every almost every bus had a poster or a banner of some sort. People were wearing shirts. Uh, it was really just a gigantic uh, outpouring of uh, uh, of grief, really, for uh, for Mr. Mellis. Now, we heard some of the praises and the compliments that uh, were given to Mr. Mellis, what he has done for Ethiopia, including from uh, Susan Rice, the U.S. representative to the United Nations. But what we didn't play from her was the criticism that she managed to get in there about his human rights practices and uh, also suppression of the media. Can you tell us more about what she said? Yeah, uh, Ambassador Rice had worked very closely and described a very close personal uh, relationship with Mr. Mellis. Uh, they were able to talk about almost anything. There certainly were issues that they had profound uh, disagreements. And one of the things that she mentioned uh, was human rights. Uh, she said that the United States uh, would renew its commitment to work with the new leadership of Ethiopia, uh, uh, but said the United States would continue to push for greater improvement in human rights, uh, particularly uh, freedom of the press. As you know, uh, many journalists and opposition activists were arrested uh, for uh, voicing to the government uh, during Mr. Mellis's time in office. Now, just let our audience know we're having obviously a bit of a problem with our Skype. We can hear you very well, Gabe, but not see you as clearly. Uh, quick last question, and this has to do with uh, the various roles that Mr. Mellis played in mediation, and among them, the most prominent, I believe, maybe Sudan, South Sudan, and the conflict there. And both presidents of those countries were there at the funeral, and uh, tell us what they said about his role. Yeah, that was interesting. It's it's a very rare occasion when you can get the uh, presidents of Sudan and South Sudan together, unless it's uh, for peace talks or peace mediation. Uh, and uh, both uh, Salva Kiir and President uh, Omar al-Bashir of Sudan spoke at the event uh, and spoke very kindly of Mr. Mellis's role, uh, helping to bring those two countries together uh, after uh, their separation and also to help negotiate uh, as, as much as possible a peaceful separation between the two nations. And Gabe, I'm, go I'm going to have to stop you there. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. But thank you so much. VOA's Gabe Jossolo reporting via Skype from Nairobi, Kenya.